Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I, I have to start with the question that has been plaguing me, the people in the building, and, like, random people I speak to about the show. Okay. Your name, your rap name, no, right. no name. Yes. It confuses a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Because they see no name, and then people would be like, wait, who's the guest? <laughs> <laughs> and, and they'd be like, right. why didn't you get the guest name? And I'm like, no, it's no name. And they're yeah. like, yeah, but who's, who's the name? The name is me. I am, I am the name. It's a really terrible name. I couldn't think of anything clever, like... <laughs> the baby or the stallion <laughs> or whatever. Uh, but I feel like you, I'm not... you, were, you were intentional with it. It's, it. It feels like a little bit of who you are. Like, you, you, you know, you're an independent artist. Right. You know, I've noticed, like, none of your clothing I've ever seen has any labels or anything on it. it is that, like, your That's vibe? You, you, but, you, yes, you're yeah, nondescript? I'm very, very nondescript, very low-key. Um, try not to promote any brand outside of myself, because right. I know... I know I'm not giving money to ICE and other things that people fund. Right. So, um, yeah, it's, it's easier this way. It's, like, minimal, uh -huh. it's clean. You compliment me. I, I like these things. So. Oh, okay. So it's, <laughs> no, I like... Uh, I wonder if you're ever gonna have to be, like, the artist known as No Name, or, like, the, if people... No, because people are gonna be, like, No Name, and they're gonna be, like, we need, like, a bit of a... like, a thing ahead of it, you know? Yeah. The rapper known as No Name. The That's... book reader. No Name. No Name. Yes. Yeah. That is an interesting aspect of your journey that is completely unique. You're an independent artist, yes. right? L before we go to the book, let's talk about that. Has it become easier to become... to be an independent artist in today's age of, like, SoundCloud and everything? Absolutely. I think... Not so much SoundCloud anymore. Shout out to SoundCloud. Y'all put me on. <laughs> um... <laughs> but I think because of the internet, because of social media, it's a lot easier if you can figure out a way to, uh, like, galvanize people in your... in your local area and create a local fan base. That's right. what I did. Uh, extremely helpful. Um... But, yeah, you... you can directly contact your... your fan base. And I think that's what helps the most for me. Um... And what other reasons why? Yeah, I think that's about it, social media. Because without social media, I don't think it would be possible. That... that's part of the reason you started your... your book club. Right. Right? It was... it was a really organic beginning of a book club. You... you were just reading a book. Yeah, I was. And somebody tweeted you about it. Right. So and... I was reading... I was reading this book, um, called Cooperation Jackson about, like, cooperatives, um, specifically one in, in... in Jackson, Mississippi. And someone tweeted me, like, yo, let's be pen pals. I'm reading the same book. And then I... I was high. And I just... I <laughs> impulsively was like, oh, my God, I should create a book club. So, yeah, I, uh... <laughs> I created a book club. Um... Thank you. I... I smoke a lot of weed. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, so that's how it happened. And I, I like, I kind of pulled it on my... on my page to right. see if people would be into it. And I thought... I think the re the... the tweet got, like, 5,000 retweets, and I was like, okay, well, maybe... maybe at least half of these people will... will follow the account, but uh -huh. then thousands more were... Wow. Like, oh, my God, we like... we like reading, and we like rappers. I feel like this is... this is a beautiful journey for you to be on, because... Mm -hmm. Your mom has a history with books as well, like a really intimate relationship with books, right? She does, yeah. She owned a bookstore in Chicago for 20 years. Um, it's, it was called Afrocentric Bookstore. And so that's kind of how I grew up. I grew up in the space around books. Even when it, when it uh, like, transitioned and I got older, I spent a lot of my time in a library. That's mm -hmm. where I... Uh, there's this program in this library called Umedia, and I was able to um, start recording and, and rapping there. But, but yeah, no, she... Uh, being in that space is... is kind of why I'm... I'm still doing it. Like, it started as an impulse, but then as I was going, there were so many other reasons to keep it going. Um, one thing that we're trying to do is incentivize people to shop locally. So, yes, you can participate in the book club online, but we really encourage our readers to shop at these, uh, POC-owned bookstores that we... that we have in right. our directory. Um... So it's like, it's a little bit of a f you to Amazon and kind of a f you to like the FBI a little bit on some. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, no, like, uh, like, you know, COINTELPRO, they, what they, what they did to like destroy black bookstores and shit. So. Right. So you're trying to so I'm like, reinvigorate. Yeah, yes. let's bring it, let's bring it back. I mean, there was a, there was a, like a, a wave and, and like a, uh, I guess a newness when it came to... to bookstore ownership amongst, uh, African Americans in, like, the 90s. Mm -hmm. Like, that's when my mom opened up her store, and it was wildly successful, because 
um, like political rap was was really in, and people were very conscious, and everyone was like, right, right, we fun about a Kofi, and we fun about this this like Cornell West or whatever. Um, now it's it's like we're just gonna order these things on Amazon, which is cool, but I think it's like it's important to be in the space, you know. Do you, do you think that that's something that you feel like rap needs to get a little bit more of again? Is just that idea of like reading being cool. You know, because well, I, think... I remember, like, when, when I was growing up, like, Tupac, I always knew that Tupac read. It right. was, like, a thing that he always, like, spoke about. And, and it felt like in a rap, lot. there were a lot of rappers who were like, oh, I read this and I read this and I know... And then there was a period of rap where it was like, nah, man, it's all, it's all in the head, man. I don't read. Yeah. And it feels like n now maybe you, you know, you're part of a generation that's going like, no, no, we're, we're coming back to reading again. I would, I would even take a step further and be like, it's not... I wouldn't specifically put it on the culture. Like, I don't think it's rappers. I think generally people are just not reading. And I think specifically there's been communities that have been targeted um, when it comes to uh, the lack thereof, either bookstores or schools that are actively, like, mm -hmm. um, allowing their kids to, to compete and, right. to, and to completely be literate. I think most people in the communities that I am in and that I come from um, they don't really have a choice because of the way that their surrounding community is set right. up when it comes to reading. So, yes, it's kind of like, you know, rappers are not necessarily promoting books, but no one, I think, really is promoting books. In and that's way. why you're, you're doing it now. Yeah. I'm, which is exciting. You, yeah. got, you got the book club <laughs> and you've got the rap going. Right. I feel like... I feel like the perfect combination of all of this is you need to start wrapping the books or wrapping the book club no. thing. No. no? I, I should just get your I'll, book and I'll just, take, like... I'll take that, then. I was born a crime. Yeah, no, I, you I'm see, I like... Trevor, I, li no. I like that. I'll be like, once upon a <laughs> time. And then that's all I, I, I remember from the book for now. But I, uh... I'll work on that. No, yeah, and, yeah. And you carry on with, with what you you're should, doing. You should, you should <laughs> suggest a book, because we do, like, we do, like, uh, like, uh, let the homie pick. So we have different people. I will do that. Yeah. I will be the homie that picks. Thank you so much for being yeah, on the show. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Wonderful having you. For more information about No Names Book Club, check out nonamesbook.com. Nonamebooks.com. No Name, everybody.